Red Ornament in an Evergreen Tree Acrylic Painting Time Lapse and Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Paper. Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you an ornament in a tree painting that I just finished really recently. I finished it actually this week and so I kind of got this video out with a really fast turnaround and it goes with a nail art design that I have on my art channel and I'll put a link to that in the description box below. And this painting is actually an updated version. It's a redo of an old illustration I did I think three years ago. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was three years ago that I did with um, illustration markers and colored pencils. And I'll post I'll post that photo on Facebook and Instagram, and then I'll post this updated version. You go, you can kind of see a comparison of then versus now. And the photo that I used as a reference for this painting is actually um, one of these ornaments off this tree. And then I went to my neighbor's blue spruce and I took the picture. If it's not so cold outside, you could even have easily sat outside and done this painting next to your tree and done it that way, especially if you're in a warmer climate than me, because the painting itself only took me about three hours, so especially if you do this like an afternoon thing, it would definitely be something that you could do outside and not even have to work off a picture, but be able to actually have your your reference right in front of you. So that's something I just wanna mention, but it's freezing outside and it would have been miserable for me. So anyways, I hope you guys like this painting and don't forget to, cl to click subscribe, see all my future videos as well. So I'm going to start with the background color and I'm just going to keep the very background. So this is that area that has um, basically no details in it whatsoever. Just very, very smooth looking. So I'm taking different shades. Um, everything in the background, at least to this extent, is going to be just a single shade of green, black, and white. So just keeping it very soft looking in the background. Nothing too crazy. And then I'm going to start the middle ground. And for the middle ground, it's very out of focus little twigs or I don't I guess twigs yeah twigs is probably the word I tried to look it up to see what the proper word of for one segment of a bow is and I couldn't figure out anything that seemed to be too helpful but anyways I'm gonna go with twig so each twig I'm going to add at this point and like as you can see very quick painting these just kind of go through and you don't have to add individual needles just kind of highlight one side of it add a little bit of brown blend it down the middle for the actual part where all the needles are attached to and just keep going and adding those. As you're doing this, you want to add the ones that are the farthest in the back first and then kind of build them up and layer them to fill in the rest of the area as you go. And the other thing when you're painting these is that you want to not, you don't want to take too long with it, which probably sounds a little strange, but you don't want to, the longer you take with it, the more you're going to start overthinking it. And with this kind of middle ground area, you just kind of want to, it's almost like a speed painting. You just kind of want to paint quickly. So don't, don't worry about it. Don't overthink it, which for me, I know it's definitely something that can be a little bit hard to do on occasion, but um, I did this, as I mentioned, I did this entire painting in one evening. So that's definitely something that, you know, is it's fun to do. It's fun to have a project that you know that you have in mind. You're like, okay, the goal for this is to get it done tonight. And for me, um, I don't really care to watch any football or any sports really. And there was a football game that was on in my house and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do a painting while this football game is on and I finished it right about the same time that the game got over so that worked out really well for me I can remember thinking okay football season for me is going to be painting season because I've got like three hours every week with nothing to do so it's my painting time so that's what I did this this painting season so anyways now I'm going to be doing the foreground so for the foreground we have four brown um, we're going to start with four stems for four of the twigs. So we're going to just do brown and then highlight them on one side. And then there's also those little, like, just like the beginning starts of the little pine cones. So I added a couple of those on each of those twigs. Um, that first one got three of them. I don't think any of the other ones had multiples like that, but just add a couple of them or add one or two. Actually, there's four, um, twigs to start or five. I mean, five, there's four up above. And then there was one little one that was just kind of off to the side or came, came from the side right there that kind of comes through. So then after you have that, there's just a couple little white spots that I wanted to fill in quick. So now using the same greens that you used in the background, so there's that one, that I think it's kind of like a moss green. And then I have um, some black and some white, and then kind of like a golden color that I was, that I'll use too. I'll be adding my needle. So I started with the, the twig that's the farthest in the back. Same thing with the rest of them. So you want to start in the back and kind of work your way forward. And after you have all of the little needles in place with your moss green, go through and add a shadow on every single needle. This is what really makes this foreground so dimensional is these shadows on every single needle. And I know that might seem like, oh my goodness, that's going to take forever, but it really doesn't. You just kind of get in a groove with it. And adding these needles to start with is just, it's a very, it's a very simple kind of relaxed process there's nothing very specific about the way they go is some of them kind of go in the wrong direction they yeah just really 
really kind of fun and easy to do these. So then add your shadows on them, add some highlights, and then add with that golden color that I mentioned, add a tip to each one because you know it is winter. And even though yeah, these are evergreen trees that are green year round, they do have just like a little bit of some brown on them in the winter, just like a little twinge of brown. So now I'm going to be doing the next one. And this one, because this one is over the rest of that bow, it kind of, the needles in the beginning, you don't really see them very well, especially not in the video. You can almost see the texture more than the color when it's in person. So it's very hard to see them. So that's why these shadows and the highlights are so incredibly crucial once you get past this point to add those that, um, you know, you just have to make sure that you do this. And that's what's really going to make the foreground so vivid looking and what's really going to help add depth to your painting is if you have these distinct layers of focus which i have a video that i talked um where i run, went more in depth on depth of painting and the foreground middle and ground and background i'll put a link to that in the description box below so now i have all of my twigs fully needled and i'm going to go through and i'm going to start my ornament which is really the fun part of this painting so i began just painting the entire ornament red kind of go over the whole thing with one coat and then let that dry while I'm painting the hook. So the hook is um, just like a silver color. So start with start with gray and then add a shadow on one side with black and kind of pay attention to the shadows that are on your needles and keep it on the same side. So you want to make sure that all of your needles have a shadow on the same side of the needle and you want to continue that on with your ornament. So that's kind of like I was saying, if you have a photograph, look at these small little important details on your photograph. It's really going to be very enlightening on how you have to light your painting how you, where you have to put the light side and the dark side which is very helpful so the other thing with mine is that with my ornament specifically is that because this photograph was taken outside it's got a very nice blue sheen on that one section of the ornament that has that nice reflection on it so i made sure that i added a little bit of blue in that color of paint which i know um, at least for me, it's kind of a weird thing to be thinking, okay, I'm painting a blue or I'm painting a red ornament and then grab some blue paint. But really, same thing, look at your picture or if you do have the luxury of doing this with when sitting next to the tree and actually being outside with it, really look at these things and pay attention to small areas of what you're looking at at a time. So don't look at the ornament as a whole. Look at the top half of the ornament. The top half of the, half of the ornament has a little reflection from the ornament cap that is on it that you can see. So it's got this little hint of that golden color from the ornament cap that you need to add as a reflection in your ornament. It's got this little bit of blue from the sky. It's got two different marks because it's got a reflection from the sun, which is I think that's the one that's on the right, and then it's got a reflection from a street lamp on the left. So you've got I mean, you have to keep track of these things and just kind of, it's really going to help make your painting um, more realistic. And it's also going to, kind of, it's kind of like playing detective. It's kind of fun. So then I'm going to be adding my ornament cap with that golden color that I've been using. And then I also added, it's got some texture on it. It's got some little bumps on it. So I'm going to be adding those as well. So I just added those with, I highlighted my ornament cap with some white. And then I went through and I added the bumps back in with the original golden color. And then I added a little shadow on some of them that aren't in the highlighted area with some very diluted, very medium warm brown. Just like so. And that is it. This painting was so much fun to do. Like I mentioned, I'll be posting kind of the before picture of the original photograph of the original illustration on Facebook and Instagram, just so that you guys can see it. I hope you guys like them both. I think this one is definitely an improvement. So if you want to see that, definitely check those out and I will see you in my next video. Bye.